All right, what is going on, guys? Favolos back again, coming at you with the Resurrection Showcase of the Thousand Year Blood War Heart Soyphon. Do we have another Soyphon? No, not, not yet. I, I'm going to be quite interested in seeing what kind of characters K-Lab comes in for the second round of uh, Anniversary, because it's probably going to be Thousand Year Blood War since the anime is airing, and K-Lab only releases, like, two banners a year now, which is kind of unfortunate, but I... They pay like 50%, you, you know, let me, let me, oh, they, they pay 50% of royalties, let me at least finish that sentence. I don't want to talk too much about their finances and stuff like that, you're more than welcome to check it out, check the, check out the Discord, link will be in the description below if you're interested in that. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the showcase, huh? So she is a Soul Reaper captain with an Arankar killer, she got a new soul trait <laughs> that hasn't been seen before. So not only did she get resurrected into a good soul trait, but she also ended up getting a custom soul trait designed specifically for her slash going to probably come out maybe around anniversary time i expect a crazy nad character to come out with a full stamina only increased normal attack damage plus 25 percent link not sure when that's going to happen if it's going to be first round second round but at the end of the day we already got confirmation that we're going to be getting new skills for gauge we're going to get quite a lot of stuff uh, that's for another video but uh yeah so uh full max transcended minus the sp which is um yeah, you don't really want to waste your resources on this, to be honest. And level 2 attack, which is still really good. Attack 30, 30, 30 across the board. Gold Chappy, Chappy, and Hollow Bay combo. You can replace the Gold Chappy with the normal attack damage item. That should be fine also. It's just that, obviously, you want to get that extra uh, focus, right? Also, an off-color Gold Chappy is still really good. I actually think that that might be better than a normal attack damage item, but you might want to test it and not take my word as, like, gospel uh next we have damage inflicted at full stand 25 percent plus 25 percent from the chad also picking up strong attack recharge 12 here so that way we can use her boost more often then we also have tokinata max transcended nad 25 damage to weaken enemies uh 20 and then full stamina damage boost plus 25 percent keep in mind that this character is going to be really really good for content like guild quest because they actually boosted her boost with the booster skill so her boost actually increases your attack defense and focus not by 33.3 percent which is the normal but 42.9 percent keep in mind even though booster says plus 30 percent it's actually uh 30 percent on top of the 33.3 so you multiply it by 1.3 you get the 43.29 uh wait, 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 what? oh no no no, no it's 33 percent my my b I'm, I'm i'm derping i'm derping there it is 42.9 there you go uh next we have enhancer poise flurry long reach Dude. This character is cool, man. <laughs> this character is cool. Uh, they actually gave her an innate skill of freeze immunity so that she's actually good in guild quest. And she has the transformation mechanic on her second strong tech, which that actually fries me a little because I actually forget about that transformation mechanic quite often. So let's uh, um, fop out real quick and actually find out what this character can do. We do have Inheritance Trial available. I don't know how she's going to do here. She's going to deal one-fifth damage because she doesn't have status ailments, so keep that in mind. Um, do I want to do a test five run? Oh, yeah, you're paying for the... Oh, you really? You pay for the passport? Man, it's, it's worth it if you actually play the game. Uh, I'll just do the times five run. That way he gets the extra run anyways. Oh, I should have checked if you had Christmas Ninny. I'm a dummy. All right, there we go. So, first strong attack. Lunge, first strong attack. Now, since this character is a Soyphon, we have the transformation mechanic followed up with her innate four flash steps. Even though she only has Sprinter plus one. Like, she does get the fourth flash step. All right, we lost our full stamina damage boost, which is uh, fine because we have access to this. I love this Isane so much. I'm not going to lie. She's so cool. No! No, no, stop! Not having guard break. Sucks, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it really sucks. Not that she needs guard break for guild quests, but like for content like this. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought I had my first strong attack. That could have ended really badly for me. Oh my... Oh, you whore! <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Can't believe we took seven damage, bro. <laughs> That's so sad. That should be alright. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should finish that off. Oh, whoa. Yo, dude, four flash steps is nice. Oh, I forgot I brought an ally. Pretty sure that was all soy fun. Alright. Oh my lord. That was so stressful. <laughs> for no reason, bro. That was so stressful for no reason. Do we have a rockers here? Oh, we do have a rockers here. Oh, that's so cool. Alright. We'll do a times five run. Let's take out the allies. Booster skill, bro. Man, that booster skill. Sorry, I'm, I get excited. So that's an Arankar, right? So 30,000. Let's uh, jot this down. 30,000 just off base. I'm going to wait for the boost to expire because we're going to have the transformation still in right after the boost expires. I love the wings that they give her. There we go. So, we're still dealing 30,000? Did she not get a damage multiplier? Give me one second. Okay. Yeah, I looked it up. So she gets a 10% damage multiplier in her transform state. But her main damage is going to really come from the fact that she has the transformation mechanic with the booster skill. So we did 30,000 damage and then we did like 30,000 damage again. Which is not really good for the testing place. But like... When it comes to the booster skill, we're dealing 45k on the top end, 110, oh that's right I forgot she has a two part first hit huh, yep, yeah she has a two part first hit, that's so interesting, cause that means that if we go one, Yeah, she has the two part. So she does like 15k. k there she has a lot of two-part attacks here that's very interesting it's not necessarily bad it just sucks because like if you don't guard break it's kind of oof you know i'm so excited for thousand of blood work i know that episode two has recently come out i really want to go watch it I thought that episode 1 was supposed to come out Monday, and I thought that the schedule was, from now on, Thousand Year Blood was coming out Monday. Ah, dude. Alright. 
yeah so that's pretty much the the soy fun i, I it's kind of hard to calculate like damage when it comes to nad characters but it is good damage my only real issue with this character is that she doesn't have guard break but since she was literally designed like her res okay so she went from like only being useful with a Ronkar enemies that are like in Senkai on stages to actually being a complete not just a valid option but the best option for a Ronkar boost right I obviously like you could probably nuke it in like sub one second if you have the characters for it but like for the character for the people that only have like one out of five characters and stuff like that they might still be struggling with with con with, with characters like that right so like they might be struggling with the character roster so this character have being a resurrection that probably will come out in a character pack so everyone will be able to buy it as long as you have a de decent paying job <laughs> i'm not saying something for this character and i'm not saying spend money to buy this character i'm just saying at the very least she'll be available to those that really like need it right uh either way i'm gonna leave it that says grano catch up him stay blessed like comment and subscribe if you're new i do have this character four out of five and uh, i don't really like spending money on this game unless it's like the character collector's pass and the passport just because i want the rainbow special move source but they're making a really good like they're giving me a good reason to spend 25 bucks <laughs> i'm not gonna lie and anyway, I'm, I'm probably not going to i'll be real chop but yeah it's, it's there <laughs> the option's there <laughs>